a British businessman who fears he will remain in a Dubai jail cell until the day he dies has written to King Charles begging him to intercede. Ryan Cornelius has made the plea ahead of the King's opening address at the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP28, which takes place in the United Arab Emirates, which includes Dubai, this week. A United Nations investigation has already ruled that his detention is arbitrary and called for his release. Mr. Cornelius, who has already served 15 years, is backed by a cross-party group of MPs, including Conservative Ian Duncan Smith and Labour's Chris Bryant, and by Justice campaigner Bill Browder. They have condemned his treatment as tantamount to a death sentence. An early day motion calling for Mr. Cornelius's release earlier this year attracted support from all the main political parties. The 68-year-old businessman, a father of three, was arrested in 2008 on a stopover at Dubai Airport and convicted of fraud in a case described as a miscarriage of justice by his supporters. Even though he has served his sentence, Mr. Cornelius has been told he must remain in jail until he repays his creditor, but he is unable to do so as the Dubai authorities have seized his assets. In a letter to the king dictated from behind bars, Cornelius writes, you are due to visit the UAE for the 2023 United Nations Climate Change Conference next month, when you will probably meet the ruler. He is someone who has long valued his relationship with your family, and I am sure he will listen to you. With apologies once more for being so bold as to address you directly, may I ask you to intercede with the ruler of Dubai to show clemency towards me and my family. Mr. Cornelius's lawyer, Rhys Davies, hopes that the king's visit will give him the chance to urge Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and his government to release Mr. Cornelius and any British prisoners serving clearly disproportionate sentences. We have our king going to the UAE and opening this important event and yet we have British citizens who are languishing in prison mere miles away and that needs to come to an end, he said. The eyes of the world will be on the UAE.